Some Purdue graduate students have teamed up to send essential needs and Christmas joy to children in South America. Our Hannah Grace talked with the students behind the Buddy Boxes. Antoinette Yasko has been making Buddy Boxes with her family for the past 15 years. Now, as a first year PhD student, she's enlisting the help of her friends here at Purdue. I grew up making boxes. So I think in the last maybe five or six years, I understood more the impact that a single box can have because in every box, it's enough for six to 12 months for one family. The Laporte native and her family decided that they could no longer financially support sending out more than 40 boxes to Venezuela on their own because of inflation and the rising cost of shipping packages. Each box gets sent to a child in Venezuela. The box includes clothes, shoes, medicine, and at Christmas time, presents. Hopefully, we're going to have the, enough donations to be able to ship everything because there's like 40 plus boxes. Um, 30 plus families and they're really waiting for that Christmas cheer and that joy of opening up all their gifts and what they need for the entire year. The Buddy Boxes organization also sponsors a Christmas meal for all the families involved so that no child feels left out during Christmas festivities. I mean, the whole point is to make sure that everybody is able to enjoy the holiday season. Yasko and the Buddy Box team is completely student-led, and they are now trying to get Buddy Boxes classified as a nonprofit organization. We go about our daily lives, and we're really lucky and privileged to be able to understand that we live in the U.S., so it's nice to be able to give back to different countries and communities that also need that just as much. Buddy Boxes has a GoFundMe page so that the community can participate in giving children in South America a happy Christmas. The monetary donations raised from the GoFundMe will go directly back into filling and shipping the Buddy Boxes. From Purdue University, Hannah Grace, Star City News.